Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for today, Monday, April 8th, 2019. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. I had a good weekend. It was a little, um, it was fun. Uh, I had a friend's birthday to celebrate and then I spent yesterday just kind of <laughs> recovering from that but you know it was fun we had a good time um yeah and you guys may notice my setup is a bit different now um i am moving back into music making mode so here i'll show you my desk is kind of sharing i'm sharing space like with speakers and there's an interface that i'll be that that goes like an audio interface that goes here and all that good stuff but so i needed to as you can see i had to put my cards back in their boxes they're still on the desk but it's just a different setup right now um and actually it was it was interesting when i was figuring out how I wanted to work this because I didn't want to put my cards like back in my closet. I wanted to have them easily accessible so that as I'm doing the readings here, I can just pick a, pick one and get moving. <clears throat> and I was, as I was trying to figure out how I was working it, it was a little emotional. Like I almost started crying a little bit because I was like, oh my God, I'm putting my cards away. They've lived on my desk here for about a year now um, and so it was just it was a really interesting transition anyway <laughs> um, so this is going to be a general energy reading for Monday um, please take it as it resonates take what resonates and leave what doesn't this is a general reading this is not specific to anything so this is what spirit would like to discuss with us today and just because it's coming through today it does not mean it has to be something that happens today it could be something that happens later on in the week maybe later on in the month, maybe later on in the year. It also could be something that happened in the past, you know, that um, maybe you're processing, you're working through now or whatnot, whatever. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? Excellent. So with that said, let's just get straight to it, guys. Mm -mm. Morning coffee, Monday, April 8th. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Monday, April 8th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, let's see what we've got here. Monday, April 8th, 2019. I'm gonna give this one more shuffle and then we shall see what's going on here. Alrighty guys, let's see what we've got. Best messages please, Spirit. Five of Cups, Eight of Swords, uh-oh. Something's a bit troubling. Oh, it does out. Something's a bit troubling here. It's a bit of trouble. <laughs> I keep saying that, but all right. Okay, overall energy, we have the Page of Swords. Okay, what I'm hearing with that is someone's keeping a lookout, someone's watching something or someone. Um, give me a second here, I gotta adjust my light to make sure we're good. Okay, that should be fine. But someone, this is interesting. Either someone is watching someone else or someone's, I feel like someone might be looking for a reason 
to make a change, okay? Um, because we have the Five of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and then also the Knight of Wands. Now, this is why I was saying there's some sort of trouble going on here, um, because we have the Five of Cups and the Eight of Swords, all right? There's sorrow, there's regret, there's remorse, there's... I don't know, shame and guilt, yeah, that's what Spirit is saying, but those are some of the key words with this, with this Five of Cups card. Um, and so that might resonate with some of you on some level. But someone feels trapped. This could be a relationship, maybe you or someone you're connecting to or connected with is in a relationship in which they feel really trapped in. Knight of Wands is a hasty energy, and I feel like that's wanting to get out. It's either wanting to get out or wanting to make some sort of change. This could be a change within the relationship to alleviate this Five of Cups energy, this, this sadness, the sorrow. Now, if you're not in a relationship, you still could be in this energy, okay? Um, and maybe, you know, you're sad and lonely with the Five of Cups, feeling like you're alone, feeling like you're trapped in some sort of prison that you can't get out of. Um, and this could be maybe you're wanting a relationship or maybe you're wanting to make some sort of change. This could definitely be career. Um, and you're just not happy where you are and you're wanting to make some sort of change. With the Eight of Swords here, you feel trapped. Knight of Wands is that hasty energy. Maybe you're seeking an option. You're seeking a way to make some sort of change. Also, the Page of Swords is a card about communication. So you might be reaching out to people, you know, to make some sort of connections, to make some sort of change. I do feel like there's some sort of action either wanting to be taken or is being taken here, okay? Take it as it resonates. Now, also now, if you are in a relationship, communication right now could be on a pretty extremely blunt, maybe to somewhat of an immature level. Direct, straightforward, to the point, not mincing words, but that can be, that can get catty and um, it can get um, snippy, short, very quickly. It could be pretty aggressive. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. Uh-oh. Ace of Swords. Oh, no. The, the Two of Pentacles. The Tower. The Page of Cups. And the Four of Swords. Okay. We just need to chill here. We need to chill, says the Four of Swords. Now, also, the Four of Swords is also speaking to... A change in perspective all right that has been coming out a lot over I want to say in the last two weeks whether it is as the four of swords or it's the hanged man okay that's been coming out a hell of a lot there I mean and, and you know that makes perfect sense if you just take what the energy what's going on with the energies lately and all that yes there is a ton of change in perspective in the works right now but some, there was some sort of realization here. There was an aha moment. Um, the Ace of Swords here. Knowledge, understanding, truth. Now you have the Two of Pentacles, though. Because with this truth comes some sort of, again, change in perspective. Four of Swords here, all right? Um, and actually, specifically, what this Four of Swords is saying, we need to chill out because... There is, needs to be like either a break, a truce, or some sort of restful period. Restful period where you can like get yourself together, contemplate, you know, get yourself on some sort of level playing field because there was some sort of realization that came out here with the Ace of Swords, okay? And it's an undeniable truth. Like there's no denying it. It could be a situation in which even people around you are very aware of this, <laughs> even if you haven't discussed it with them, okay? Now, because of that, there's a little bit of a juggling act going on here, Two of Pentacles. And you may not even be trying to juggle. You actually may just tr be trying to keep the balance. But right in the center 
is the tower. Abrupt change. Very strikingly abrupt. Like, I mean, obviously this is what the tower represents, but for some of you, whatever this situation is, like, insanely abrupt change. Now, this doesn't actually have to be um, a, some sort of physical change, okay? This change could just also be internally or mentally or emotionally, right? And which could be why you're working on keeping some sort of balance here with the Two of Pentacles. But also, I really feel like someone is juggling their emotions here, okay? The Two of Pentacles in the recent past has been about being in between worlds, yes? Having one foot in the past, one foot in the future. And as I've been doing personal readings lately, and the Two of Pentacles has come up, it still means that, all right? So we are definitely still in this process of phasing out the old and, and manifesting the new. So you might have one foot in the past, one foot in the future. I would have, the first thing I wanna say about that is you need to work on, before you do anything else, you need to work on getting that 1111 on the counter. You need to work on getting that one foot in the past out of there. And at least to get that foot into the current, the present moment, okay? If you want to leave your other foot somewhat in the future, that's advisable, says Spirit. Um, but you've got it no matter what. No matter what, you've got to get that one foot out of the past and at least get it into the present, the current moment, whatever that means for you, okay? Now, after the tower, we have a page of the Page of Cups energy. This is really speaking strongly to new love. Um, a new relationship building, some sort of new emotional connection, a deepening of an emotional connection, potentially moving it to a new level, potentially. It also could be reconciliation. Page of Cups is a reconciliatory energy too, right? So if you are in a relationship, okay, maybe someone has been speaking some truth here there's been some sort of realization with the tower and maybe someone was this two of pentacles here maybe someone was kind of like going back and forth between apologizing or reconciling or whatnot uh, whatever however that whatever that means it could have also been it could also be someone kind of skirting around an issue you know like not really answering something, avoiding something, avoidance, right? Until a tower moment came, a realization. Someone, maybe someone spoke some sort of truth that really was an eye opener, um, whatever. However that manifests, there, was, there is or was or is going to be some sort of realization, um, which could lead to reconciliation, okay? Um, you could kind of see this Page of Cups character, this person, this this woman in the Page of Cups kind of walking away from something. Or you could see her as walking towards something. And also the Page of Cups is the dreamer energy, right? And so you could kind of see her walking towards that portal right here, what it looks like a portal, to her to her dreams, right? But then you have the Four of Swords. So that could mean that there's some sort of restful period coming. Um, there's, a, there's a break that needs to be taken. There's information or new perspective, new point of view that needs to be assimilated. As there is, there is an energy of being in between something, in between worlds, maybe in between relationships, whatever. This tower energy is strong, um, but it's it's nothing. I guess the past is is um, like it's a past energy. I guess that's peaking out the most, or that's the strongest. But it feels it doesn't feel any. I mean, the one thing I guess the past comes. The past is is like it being a past tower moment is what's coming out the most. I guess. I guess you could say if one past, present, or future were the strongest, it would be the past, but I just feel like this could really be anywhere. 
So in that case, maybe there was a tower moment release in, in recently in the past, in the recent past, but then there may be another one coming because there's either more of a re realization, a new realization, a deeper realization, something like that. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure, but Spirit's saying I, it's okay. You don't have to be. All right, cool. <laughs> Thanks, Spirit. <laughs> All right. Um, obviously, I don't have to be. It's a general reading, so take what resonates, right? But with this Ace of Swords here, that Ace of Swords feels current. Like somebody knows something. Somebody is aware of something because the Ace of Swords represents awareness. Okay, what is this? The Nine of Cups, so, okay. And that's ah, the Two of Pentacles. Um, interesting. Uh, that's very interesting. We're getting into the clarification section now, um, but the Ace of Swords is some sort of realization or understanding. And I really think it's something that's going to bring some sort of satisfaction in the end, okay? Two of Pentacles again. Nine of Cups is talking about that satisfaction. And then the Two of Pentacles again is talking about um, there's some sort of juggling. It, it also feels like a change. There may be two different types of commitment on the table. That's very interesting. Because you can see the Ace of Pentacles as a commitment, right? You could see the Two of Pentacles as two commitments. We could be talking about a relationship here, a love partnership, one in which both parties would be willing to give you some sort of commitment. Um, and I'm hearing, in terms of that, I'm hearing honor yourself. Ooh, wow. Okay, that was really specific. They're saying honor yourself, not necessarily just the commitment that has been, they're saying specifically that has lasted, that la has lasted the longest or lasted longer. That was a direct channeled message. Honor yourself, not necessarily the commitment that has lasted the longest. Because, yeah, perfect. Because think about it. Look, you have the Five of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Knight of Wands here, okay? The Knight of Wands is some sort of passionate, desireful movement, right? It could be in terms of releasing the situation, or it could be in terms of fixing or healing the situation, okay? But someone feels trapped here and is unhappy. Five of Cups, Eight of Swords. Feeling trapped and is unhappy. So in that case, Spirit's absolutely right. I mean, like they would ever be wrong, but honor the, honor, honor the commitment that makes you happiest, not necessarily the one that has lasted the longest, okay? That is what they are saying. All right, so I am going to shuffle this up a bit. I feel like I'm about to get <laughs> I'm about to get backlash for saying that, but it's it's true. If you're unhappy in a situation, just because it's lasted the longest doesn't mean that you have to stay. If you're unhappy, you're unhappy. Now, I would not advise see okay, okay, but wait. But there's some sort of hasty energy here, which is why there needs to be some sort of rest, four of swords. Okay? Maybe the situation can be fixed. Absolutely. Maybe it can, but if you've been trying and trying and trying and it's not working, then honor the commitment that makes you happy, not the one that lasts the longest. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. One more shuffle and then we're gonna start with the top row. Five of Cups, Eight of Swords, Knight of Wands. All right, here we go. All right, guys, 
Just some clarification here, please, Spirit. In this top row, what is this person feeling? Ah, look at that, that page of swords again. Interesting. Okay. Really? That's it? That's it, huh? Interesting. We've got one card that flipped over. There might have been another one, but it was the Page of Swords. So there is definitely an energy of someone being watched. Okay, I'm 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 trying to <laughs> I'm trying to get some messages other than that, but that is really what's coming through with this Page of Swords here. Someone's being watched. Now it could be a good thing. It could be someone that is in a relationship that may actually want to be with you instead is watching you live your life. Um, there's also, there could be, not gonna lie, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give you as many options as I, as it has come through. It could be their partner that's watching you too. Um, they could be aware of this connection that you may have with this person. Um, But also, there's a very strong energy of seeking an opportunity to get out of here. That's what I just heard. Now, that could be petty. It really could be. Especially if, especially with this Knight of Wands energy, if you're not willing to do the work that is necessary to honor your commitment and to, to be in this relationship, then okay, maybe that's a little hasty and immature. Maybe you should instead be seeking opportunities to fix and heal the situation. But then, like I said, if you've been in this situation for a while and you've been working at it and working at it diligently and it's just not working, then someone's seeking an opportunity to leave. Oof. 10 of cups is underneath the deck because the 10 of cups is the focus here. Now, the Page of Swords also does talk about communication, right? Um, but the strongest energy that's coming through with this Page of Swords is an energy of seeking. Seeking what, you, what it is you truly desire with the Ten of Cups. Maybe this is a situation in which um, either you or someone else recognizes the potential to have this, this, this energy with someone that they're not currently partnered with. And it's so funny, guys, because I don't normally do, I, like I said this last week, I don't normally do love readings or soulmate readings, but that's what's going on right now. So, hey, <laughs> don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> um, honestly, though, I feel very strongly that somebody sees exactly what they want in the Ten of Cups. Okay, and that's actually absolutely what this realization here could be. Ace of Swords, right? Okay, cool. So now, I'm um, wow, okay, this is making a lot more sense now. This tower, see now this could be why this tower energy is here and feels some like, somewhat in the past. And now Spirit is saying, for some, it's kind of a distant past. It's a distant past because this kind of feels like a past connection almost, or at least it could be. That's why they would say be saying it's a distant from the distant past for some of you. But that's also why the past feels a little bit heavier than the present or the future. Only slightly, though, because I think someone was aware of this. Maybe both of you were aware of this before. But now as time has gone on, there is a much deeper realization with this Ace of Swords energy which could then create yet another tower moment or has created a tower moment in maybe seeing potentially how the relationship may be flawed, like the current relationship might be flawed and not a better, best representation of this, Ten of Cups. Okay, I mean, I'm just, I'm calling it like, it, like it's, as it's coming through, you know? This is how it's all lining up, at least in my head, so. Okay, let's get some clarity on this row here. Ace of Swords, Two of Pentacles, the Tower, Page of Cups, and the Four of Swords. Please, Spirit. Wow, there's that Two of Pentacles again that just fell out on top of the Two of Pentacles. Let's 
Seven of Cups. Whoa! Okay, underneath the deck is Temperance. Patience. Divine timing. All right? Um, I just freaked out a little bit here because the Ten of Cups came back out. But it came out and it fell reversed. We have the Two of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles on top of the Two of Pentacles. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Um, there's work that needs to be done here. There's physical work that needs to be done here. Whether this is repairing the situation currently or the work of getting that foot out of the past and getting it into the future or not the future the present at least you can you can work on getting it into the future but you should but at least what's absolutely bare minimum necessary is to get that foot out of the past and get it into the present moment okay now that could also be letting go of what happened in the past in the relationship and being centered in the current moment and looking at where you want to go, looking at where that other foot may be if it's in the if it's in the future, and aligning that, getting it up into the future. All right, that absolutely could be it. But if it's not that, releasing the past. You have the Seven of Cups here, which is crossing the Tower and kind of landing on the Page of Cups. Honestly, this is a situation in which options feel like a detriment. The Seven of Cups is also giving me kind of like a, a dreamy, wishful energy. Let's see. And then you have the Ten of Cups with judgment. Whoa. Whoa, 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 you guys. Ten of Cups came out again in reverse coupled with judgment and that fell on top of the page of cups here someone has come to understand or is is in the process of understanding potentially that maybe a relationship that they're in is not what they thought it was i heard specifically is not balanced enough not what they expected it to be straight up just isn't working for them, isn't providing them with the Ten of Cups that maybe they wanted or they thought it would. Maybe it's providing with them with a version of the Ten of Cups that they thought they might have wanted, but now they're not, or now they're realizing that they're, they, they don't. They're feeling some sort of call to make a change here. Somebody is, whether that's you or somebody else. And we have one more card here. Oh boy. The fool. Mm -mm. Taking that leap of faith. Changing the circumstances. Changing the outcome. Going in a radically new direction. Jumping, just taking that jump, jumping off the cliff. Maybe this person or this situation, you have been on this cliff, on the edge for some time. Maybe you've been slowly approaching it. Now, okay, I just want to say a few of these cards were face down. The Eight of Pentacles was face down. Judgment was face down. And the Fool was face down. Those are some hidden energies. So what you may not know here with the Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles <clears throat> being face down, someone's doing some work. Okay, maybe they're working on fixing it. Maybe you're working on fixing it. Judgment was face down, but the Ten of Cups was face up, and that came out again. It was underneath the deck on the first row, right, the top row. It came out again, but it came out reversed this time with Judgment, which was face down. So I think what that means is there's a calling happening. A calling is being re put out. There's a judgment 
happening. Coming to terms with something. So it may not be, it may not have surfaced yet. They may not have spoken about it yet. People may really not even be fully aware of it yet. They may just still be trying to deal with the fact that they have the Ten of Cups here in reverse, okay? Now the Seven of Cups here, is, which is crossing the tower, options, confusion, needing to weed through the mess. But it's feeling like whatever this Seven of Cups energy is, and I feel like it could be a, a number or a plethora of options as to why the situation may not be working. But someone's coming to terms with the lack of emotional fulfillment. And as a result, we've got an We've got a brand new start coming. The, the fool was also face down, okay? But it doesn't necessarily mean there's a breakup happening. It could be a fresh new start in the relationship. You know what I mean? But either way, there's some sort of leap of faith coming. And that's why there's a good amount of energy when it comes to the Four of Swords here. A good amount of guidance when it comes to the Four of Swords because... Um, Regardless of whatever this realization is here, okay, Ace of Swords, regardless of what this is, there needs to be a break in the action, okay? We can't just go running off willy-nilly with this Knight of Wands energy, even though you might really be ready to. Stop for a second. Pause for a second. And just make sure. You know, make sure that this is really... Make sure that you really gone through all of these different things here seven of cups all these different options that are crossing the tower make sure you've really gone through them i just i keep wanting to say that just make sure just make sure that's all that's what the four of swords is saying because there is a knight of wands hasty really hasty energy here and i'm not saying that's bad i just Caution against giving into that too much. All right, take your really take your time to understand what it is you want, where it is you're going, which is why it's so important for you to or whoever whomever to work on Eight of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, work on getting that foot out of the past and at least into the present moment. That's all. That's all we're asking you to do right now. Says the, says the universe. Once you do that then reassess, then say, okay, what is it that I want? Seven of, of, of um, cups, seven of cups. What is it that I want? Where do I wanna go? What is the future that I'm heading towards that my other foot is currently in? What does that looking like? What do I need to prepare for that? Or what do I need to move forward into that eight of pentacles? What do I need to do? What steps do I need to take? What actions do I need to take? Okay. All right, I'm gonna leave it there, but I'm gonna get to the um, Oracle guidance now. And we're gonna, Spirit's pushing it, so we're gonna go with the Whispers of Love, or at least we're gonna start with that today. And okay, and then we're gonna close with the Crystal Mandala deck. see what we've got today spirit best messages please advice here <laughs> wow <laughs> okay underneath the deck is whew, card number 49 actions speak loudly express your love through your actions, but also, uh, yeah, okay, if you're having trouble deciding what it is you need to do, what decisions you need to make, what actions you need to take, which way you need to go in, if you've got, if you're confused, okay, Seven of Cups, 
which is crossing this tower moment. If you are confused at all, your advice here is to take note of the actions because actions speak loudly. Actions speak way louder than words, you guys. Okay, somebody can, can twist their words up conveniently just to, just to tell you what they want you to hear or tell you what you want to hear or whatever just to keep you on the hook, right? But if their mouth is saying one thing and their actions are saying something else, you can most definitely trust their actions over their words, period, okay? So then you have card number 44, get to know each other. Learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. And that's kind of what I'm feeling with this Ten of Cups energy, to be honest. Okay. This Ten of Cups in reverse. For some of you, there may be another person on the horizon that's kind of like wanting this. And may be, may be seeing you struggle, you know, and wanting to get to know you better, whatnot, treat you better, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. Finally, <laughs> we have card number 21. Choose love. You always have a choice as to what you should do, okay? And that's really, really important, especially with this Eight of Swords energy here. Someone feels trapped. Someone feels like they don't have a choice, but you do, okay? You absolutely do have a choice. And the choice here to make is choose love. Like literally when I first saw, when I first read this card, the first thing that came to mind was Spirit's message of choose what would make you happy, not which, not just what's been the standing the longest. And love would make you happy. So if you are in this situation and there's still love here, then take your foot out of the past, right? Bring it into the present and work on cultivating that love. Okay, but if you're finding that love is somewhere else, like potentially what you're looking for here, Ten of Cups, which is currently in reverse, maybe you should choose that. But you do, regardless, regardless of whatever direction you want to go in, you always, always, always have a choice. All right. And you know, quite frankly, for some of you out there, I don't know why this is coming out, but somebody needs to hear it. Obviously, this person, if you are in a relationship with someone and shit's not going right and you've been trying and trying and trying and it's just not working out, you know that other person has a choice too. And what I'm feeling is that they are putting their right to choose in a, into action. And they could be potentially choosing something else over you, right? That's literally what I'm feeling right now. And I don't know why, but someone needs to hear that. The other person, or maybe the other people, this doesn't even have to be just a relationship. This could be a partnership, a work, a situation, a creative partnership, whatever, a friendship. Who cares? Take it as it resonates, okay? But I just feel like somebody out there is making a choice for themselves and the other person is kind of like, well, I guess I gotta stay here. We've, we've been doing this for so long. No, if they can choose them, you can choose you. Like, <laughs> come on, all right? Somebody needed to hear that. Okay, now I'm gonna close the reading with Oracle Guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck. This is so weird, guys, having like the boxes here and it's cool though, it feels cool. It's like a nice change. Okay, here we go guys. Best message today, please spirit. Please, oh please, oh please. Best messages, please spirit. For today, Monday, April 8th, 2019. Best message, please, spirit. There we go. Just that one. Ah, 
Goddess Matanji and Heliotrope. Card number 43. Already there is value. Uh-oh. Well, this is an interesting one. Okay. Card number 43. Now, this is a card, this number does boil down to a seven, which is good. Um, mysticism, luck. I'm hearing wish fulfillment, which would be something that's pretty lucky, right? Okay, here we go. We bring you the empowerment to see that already there is value. It is natural for creative energy to become excited by new possibilities, new ideas, and new forms. It is also possible, however, for creative energy to become engaged in liberating the undiscovered value within that which already exists, polishing it until it shines with divine light. Sometimes there is a need to shed the past and all associated with it completely, starting afresh. However, at other times, there is something of value from the past that can, if allowed to bask in the light of your creativity, become very valuable for your future. In your enthusiasm to move forward in life, don't forget to take the value that already exists in your world along with you. Now, this actually, yeah, this falls right in line, falls right in line because you could, we could be talking about one, the current standing relationship. If you're in the relationship, obviously, I, honestly, this is obviously a soulmate reading. I'm not even, I'm not going to lie. This feels like a soulmate reading. <laughs> okay. But if you're already in a commitment or a relationship with someone and You've got all this hasty energy because you're feeling like you want to make a change and you're feeling like you're trapped with this Knight of Wands and the Eight of Swords underneath also here. Maybe, like I've been saying, pulling your foot out of that past and into the present moment will help you see the value of the situation and help you rekindle the relationship. If not, okay, because I was feeling like there was someone else out there for some of you potentially in which someone is watching or you have a connection with someone. Um, and I do feel like this is a continuation of the soulmate readings that were coming out last week. So, and the Six of Cups did come out during one of those readings. And so we were talking about, yeah, um, it was that day, I don't remember which day it was, but it was the day that the, <laughs> you had, I don't remember what the original cards were, but in the clarifiers, you had the Six of Cups with the King of Swords and the pay and the Knight of Wands. And the King of Swords was in between the Six of Cups and the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands was a really super hasty energy because someone was aware of the connection between the two of you. But the King of Swords was in between them being like, oh, no, you don't. We're not doing that again. You're going to stand over here and you're going to cool down, right? <laughs> so I do feel like this is a, a continuation of whatever was coming through that last week. Um, and so it could really be that maybe you do have this longstanding connection that now could flourish potentially if it's just given some light. Uh, I mean, take it as it resonates, you guys, but it's kind of what, you know, it could go either way. Wow. All right, guys. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Happy Monday. And I look forward to connecting with, with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.